first time we ever saw Midas in Fortnite was over 986 days ago. The last time we've seen him is today because Midas is back. But first, Fortnite and YouTube teamed up for a new update for everybody who hits the thumbs up button on this video they actually received the super cool YouTube emoticon inside of Fortnite. So smash that thumbs up button so you don't miss out. It's no secret that Midas is one of the most beloved characters in all of Fortnite. We were all incredibly disappointed in Chapter 2 Season 3 where we saw Midas get eaten by a loot shark. And ever since then, the only version of Midas that has returned is the dead version, or Shadow Midas. Until today, where we found out Midas is alive and he's made his return. But first, look how close we are to 4.31 million subscribers. We couldn't be any closer. It truly would mean the world to me if you could hit that subscribe button and be my 4,310,000 subscriber. Last video, I asked you guys to name this emote, and there's a bunch of people on the screen right now who got it right. But this video, we have a new emote. If you know the name of this, make sure to leave it down below in the comments. So we wasted too much time. We got a ton to talk about, including the return of Midas himself. Let's hop into a game and let's get into it. Now, before we say what's up to Midas for the first time in almost a thousand days, first things first, the new update we received this week added a bunch of stuff to creative mode, with my favorite thing actually being a new default island that is the Battle Royale map. But it's kind of disappointing. If you've tried this out, then you know what I'm talking about. Really only able to change the settings of the Battle Royale game, like where the storm comes from and things like that. You're not able to actually build anything on the main Battle Royale map, which is kind of frustrating, man. I kind of felt like that was the whole point of adding this to begin with. The good news is there's a very simple glitch you can do that will allow you to build on the island. To pull this off, the first thing you're going to want to do is just load into normal creative mode. Once you load in, you're going to want to make your way over to your creative portal and use the console to create a brand new map. And then in the top left, you will literally see the Battle Royale Island. You're going to want to choose that one. Once you'll spawn in, you'll immediately arrive on this weird little floating platform on the spawn island. And you're also able to see these little panels with some glowing options on them. You're going to want to go up to the orange one and interact with it and make sure you disable the bots after that you're going to want to build out three floors exactly where i am right now and then you're going to want to equip a snowman and then throw him just outside of the barrier exactly where i just did and the rest is pretty easy you're going to want to start the game all that's left to do at this point is drop down to the fortnite island and then eliminate yourself as quickly as possible after that just return back to the island your snowman should still be waiting for you right outside of the barrier Barrier. All you want to do is enter the snowman. And as you can see, we are officially outside of the barrier and we still have access to the creative phone. All that's left to do now is fly over to the Fortnite Island and we can start going nuts. And there we go. Just like that. We've done it, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this, boys. We can literally grab the balloons and move them around the map. That's awesome. What about the zero point? Can we get the zero point? Oh my goodness. No way, ladies and gentlemen. Look at it. It's literally another zero point. Finally, let's try it on the reality tree, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, okay. It doesn't work, I guess. We're just about to say what's up to Midas. But first, we all know here on the season four map, there's a pirate ship known as the Driftwood. It originally started out being located at the Daily Bugle, but with each and every single week that passes, it continues to make its way across the Fortnite Island. Originally, we were pretty suspicious of the pirate ship since the balloons were black, unlike every other balloon that is yellow. And we even thought there was a chance it could be related to the Inquisitor since the pirate ship itself literally has a squid on its mass. But none of those are correct and the real answer starts with the npc located on the pirate ship known as blackheart we haven't seen anywhere in fortnite ever since chapter 2 season 6 blackheart was actually a boss you were able to defeat and whenever you would eliminate him he would actually turn into a ghost npc you could talk to anyway this dude blackheart is basically the unsung hero of chapter 3 season 4 it's the main reason of his pirate ship traveling around the island is to gather and hold all of the valuable treasures in case something were to happen but unfortunately if you look around the pirate ship for these valuable items, it doesn't really seem like they're anywhere, with the exception of a couple big piles of gold. Anyways, that's not the only secret the Blackheart character has. Just check this out. If you equip just any random old skin and make your way over to the pirate ship and talk to Blackheart, he'll actually ask you how his ship got that far inland, which I find kind of funny. It's almost like he doesn't notice that his ship is literally floating. Also, if you equip the most evil character in Fortnite at the moment, being the Herald, and 
once again make your way over to the pirate ship and talk to Blackheart, he'll actually say, ye bring an ill wind, don't ye? Almost like he can sense the Herald's evilness and the impending doom. So over the next few weeks, as we get closer and closer to the live event, make sure you're keeping your eyes on the Driftwood pirate ship, man, because both the pirate ship and Blackheart are extremely important. But now, it's finally time to reveal the return of Midas, which hands down, without a doubt, has to be one of my favorite Fortnite characters of all time, and it's been a long time since we've seen him, with the last time being during Fort Nightmare's Midas's Revenge. And with Midas being back, I'm not just talking about a new version of Midas, like we saw with the recent anime skin, but instead, the actual Midas skin that we all know and love. First things first, to understand the return of Midas here in Season 4, we first need to understand the Midas family, and it all starts off with the character known as Jules, who was released in the Battle Pass a season after Midas. A lot of people actually had no idea that Jules and Midas were related, but believe it or not, they actually are, and Midas is the father of Jules, which was revealed whenever the Midas skin would interact with the Jules NPC. She would literally say, oh good, father-daughter time. Now, even though the Jules skin was introduced after Midas's device live event, she actually played a massive role in the event by helping him actually create the device to control the storm, which is actually the entire reason Jules has a welding outfit as one of her styles. The next member of the Midas family is actually Marigold, which many people believe is actually supposed to be Midas's wife, and so did I, until I looked at her character description where it says break the curse of the golden touch. Kind of makes it sound like Midas and Marigold are separated, even that she was just a random lady that Midas came in contact with by accident and gave the curse to. And finally, we have the Oro character, which basically everybody believes is just a different snapshot of Midas from the loop for a good reason, because you'll notice right above both of their right eyes, you're actually able to notice a very similar scar. But fun fact, when Epic Games originally designed Oro, he actually didn't have that scar on his head, and it wasn't until they were just about to release him when Epic Games decided it would make sense to add it, because it would connect him in the storyline to Midas, meaning he's definitely related to the Midas family in some way, but I'm not quite sure how, and I have to assume that the snapshot theory is correct. But the main three of the Midas family, being Miracle, Jules, and Midas, have actually been planning something for the Fortnite universe for the last seven seasons or so. Because whenever you would equip the Midas skin and go and talk to the Marigold NPC or vice versa, they would say to each other, it's happening soon, which has always been very odd considering all of this happened after Midas's device live event. So there's literally no way that that's what they're talking about. On top of that, whenever the Jewel skin interacts with Marigold or vice versa, they'll actually tell her to stick to the plan. It was very, very clear that these three have been planning something for a very long time. And it goes even deeper because you may remember in Chapter 3 Season 1 when Epic Games added Covert Canyon, that was mainly a point of interest themed entirely around the Imagined Order and was essentially the Imagined Order main base on the Chapter 3 map. Well, hidden away in a secret quarter inside a covert cavern, there's actually Midas's golden llama head that was officially revealed inside of Fortnite for the very first time during Midas's little cutscene trailer. And on top of that, in one of the most recent crew packs, we got this glider known as the Golden Look Board. The description of this glider actually says he is watching, which almost everybody in the Fortnite community believes is referring to Midas since the glider is literally gold. Now, as far as what they were planning, according to the Fortnite wiki, their entire plan was essentially to hide Midas from the public, and we don't know why. But what we do know is that Midas is indeed alive and well, because check this out. In the most recent update, Epic Games added this spray, where you're literally able to see Midas's golden hand starting to be corrupted by the chrome. Essentially, exactly like what we see happening to the Season 4 map, this is without a doubt a teaser that Midas is somehow involved with this season's live event. And as soon as we find out how, and Midas officially makes his return, I'll make a tweet over my Twitter account letting you guys all know at home at games yt thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day i'll see you guys in the next video peace out